it with me. I will not neglect the fabric remnant section at my local fabric store. You can find yards of fabric for full projects at a fraction of the price. Not sponsored. I just don't even know what to do with myself anymore. Was that English? It's a beautiful morning. Uh. <laughs> Hi homies, welcome back to the Disaster Network where we are still dressing up like our projects because we still have nothing else better to do because we're still unemployed. <laughs> So we made this out of office pillow out of scrap fabric and black felt. You can put whatever you want on your pillow. I was thinking about putting tired AF because that's how I feel about the world. Stay home, zoom and chill. Hashtag where's the toilet paper? Stop being basic, wear your mask. If I have to go to one more zoom meeting, I'm going to lose my mind. In the evenings when I go to bed and I lay my head next to the out of office belt right here. This is a constant reminder that I'm going broke. Can y'all like stay home? I'm done. I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. Like beat me up Scotty. Thank you for your cooperation. Here's what you're going to need to finish this project. have a pillowcase, you can start felting. If you're DIYing a pillowcase, decide on the size of the pillow that you want. Measure and trace your fabric lines to the size of the pillow. Be sure to give yourself at least a 2 inch seam allowance. Add the 2 inches to the actual size of your pillow. For example, I wanted a 20 inch pillow, so I cut my fabric squares to 22 inches. Steam your raw edges over to create half inch seams all around your fabric. It makes it easier to stitch on the sewing machine and it gives you a cleaner looking pillow. legible handwriting are just all around better human beings. At this point, I don't even try with my handwriting, so I take a much needed shortcut and use an online font generator. Attempting to write something in cursive gives me a headache. This is actually how my brain works. This is raw footage of the creative process. I play with the sizes and the positioning of the text to see what I like the best. This can sometimes take a while because there's so many options and styles to choose from, but once I'm happy with the template, I generate the final and I decide where I want the template to go onto the pillowcase. I trace it onto the pillowcase and hope that it looks similar. <laughs> Place your felting pad under the front layer of your pillowcase. This separates both pieces of fabric so you don't stitch them together. It also gives your felting needle a surface to stitch through.
choice. Technique wise, I found that rolling the yarn skinny makes it easier to stitch lettering. I also switched from two needles in the tool to one needle. This just made it easier for me to get really detailed with the felt. insert into your case, use a larger insert than the actual size of your pillow. This is going to give you a fluffier pillow and it just looks so much better. And there's a message for you that says, hey, you're still unemployed. So I hope you guys like this video. Did you see that fail? <laughs> and I hope that you guys give it a try. I promise to get on a better schedule. <coughs> um, soon. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Okay. See you guys in the next one. Happy Buzzy. Hi homies! If you had a good time here, don't forget to subscribe for more shenanigans and check out some other DIY and home videos on my channel. Hope you come back for the next disaster video.